Hello, my name is Benjamin Willis, and as I've gotten older, I became interested in ancient history, and I'd like to share with you some interesting anomalies I've stumbled upon. Now, I wasn't the brightest student in school, but I do have a fair intelligence, and a good memory. So I was shocked when I learned the history we were taught wasn't complete. There is much more to America's story, if you are willing to do the research. I remember being taught about the Native Americans and their honorable but primitive lifestyle. I was left under the impression that the Native American culture was a simplistic society that didn't build megalithic stone structures in the United States, but that isn't accurate. In Salem, New Hampshire, there is a site called America's Stonehenge. Hidden deep in the New England forest, you come across numerous mystery chambers and standing stones aligned with astronomical precision. At the center of the site is a grand gallery of chambers built with large megalithic stones. Some chambers are in ruins, but the Oracle Chamber is still fully intact. Charcoal and other organic matter retrieved from the site in archaeological digs have been carbon dated from the 1400s all the way back to 200 BCE. They carve into here, the water can run down, they carve through this crack, down a hole. There's a hole here. It comes out this other side. And goes. And even here in their courtyard, they've got these carvings here. They carved into the bedrock so that all liquid would leave. It's definitely some form of primitive plumbing, now whether it was for restrooms or just the dirty water from cooking, but it is a unique form of primitive plumbing. That is the sacrificial stone. Let's see if I can get tall enough. If a body was laid on that and you cut them, you see around the edges of that where they carved into it, all the blood would pull into those edges. And here on this corner, all of the blood would pull and spill out theoretically into a bucket or some kind of bowl they'd have beneath there to collect all the blood. That was a sacrificial altar. We're just... America's Stonehenge wasn't just a single isolated case. Hidden deep in the New Mexico desert are four-story tall buildings built out of stone. Welcome to Chaco Canyon. Around 700 AD, this was a vibrant city with thousands of inhabitants. This was the largest, but this is only one of their city centers. Their territory and structures were spread out over miles. Chaco Canyon isn't just unique for its construction, but their calendar is astronomically accurate and unlike any other in history. Their doorways were quite small, but some of this engineering has lasted for centuries.
There are even stone constructions in Arizona. But that isn't all Arizona has to offer. Welcome to Wupaki National Monument. In addition to the stone structures, this site has a ball court, reminiscent of the ball courts used by the Mayans in Mexico. This ball court proves that there was communication and trade between the Mayans and the Hopi and Anasazi. My history teacher never mentioned that. I find this to be quite an advanced multi-level stone building considering the way the Native Americans were depicted in my school. similar to Akiva. This never had a roof. Can you tell if you look up where the second story room began? 